Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel and it is how to be a young entrepreneur. So today's video is going to be like the supplies you need to like start a duct tape business and stuff. So the supplies you should have on your desk while making duct tape. And I think this is a really cool series. I'm really excited, excited to start doing this series. There's going to be lots of different videos and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> So the first thing is pretty obvious that you really need to have at your workstation is different types of duct tape rolls. I would recommend a variety of them just because it's kind of boring just to have one roll and just make crafts out of it. So here I just have four different examples of duck brand duct tape. Now there are different brands of duct tape like Scotch and then Art Skills and then like the Dollar Tree brands but my favorite is duck brand duct tape and you can get these from Michael's craft store for about $4.99 or you can also get them from Walmart for about $3.37 and then if they also have like license prints and license prints are more expensive but they're usually more popular so here's just an example of four different types of duct tape Another thing that is really useful uh, at your workstation is clear tape. Now you don't need to run out and buy like high quality like nice clear tape. They have like duck brand clear tape which is really great. You can just get any type of clear tape but my personal favorite is the scotch packaging tape, the ultra clear and right now it doesn't look clear but when you take it off the roll it does look clear and I usually buy the two pack for about I think it's eight dollars. And the purpose of clear tape is just to make your wallet high quality so like no gunk gets in the creases or anything. So clear tape is a must. You should definitely have clear tape when starting your duct tape business. Another really important tool when duct taping is an X-Acto knife. This allows you to cut really nice and precise. It has make, lets you have straight edges which is really nice when trying to duct tape because you don't want to have like rough edges and like have like swervy lines and stuff. I would definitely recommend an exacto exact knife and there's also you can just twist and then these come out and then you can replace the blade once it gets dull because if you duct tape a lot then the blade does get dull. Another thing that is really important when you are duct taping is a ruler and I would definitely invest in a stainless steel ruler like this one. So, like, if you buy, like, a plastic one and you accidentally cut through it with your X-Acto knife, it's not straight anymore. So, I definitely invest in a stainless steel ruler. I literally got this from Big Lots for, like, a dollar. So, you can find them really cheap, but I would definitely recommend them because they last a whole lot longer than a, like, wood or a plastic one does. The next thing you would definitely want to have at your duct tape workstation is scissors so I have these duck brands scissors duck brand actually makes their own scissors partnered with Fiskars and these are actually non-stick scissors so um, when you cut duct tape um, the sticky won't get stuck on the blades which is really good because if you have just regular scissors the sticky will get on your blades and then eventually you won't be able to cut anymore so I just have two pairs of the bigger scissors and then one pair of the smaller scissors the smaller scissors are really good when you're just wanting to do small little like trims and stuff but the big scissors are like for really like big projects and stuff so I really love these scissors and I would definitely recommend them so the next thing is top loaders. So top loaders are um, made for baseball cards, for people who like collect baseball cards. But duct tapers use them for ID plastic and you can find these at Walmart um, up by the cash registers where like trading cards and like Pokemon cards and baseball cards are. And they're about $3.37 for 25 of them and each plastic makes two um ID holders. So if you're definitely making wallets, you definitely want to have high quality ID plastic. So I would definitely recommend these. The next thing you want to have is Ziploc. So I have four different types of Ziploc, which I really love all of them. So the first brand is Glad. Glad is definitely the strongest and doesn't wear out. So I always get the Glad 
gallon size storage or the freezer because freezer is stronger than storage and the, if you get the right ones they will be blue so they're definitely really strong and I definitely recommend Glad. Another brand I have is Ziploc brand. I also buy the gallon freezer ones. They're really strong and I really love the sound of it. Um, this is another brand of Ziploc. The next brand is I really love this brand for some reason, but not many people use it. This is the Walmart Great Value brand Ziploc, and it's really amazing. I actually really like it um, better than, like, Ziploc brand, but, and it's way cheaper. So they have a gallon size, and they have, like, a quart size. And then lastly, I have this one. This is kind of, like, President's Choice from Canada, but this is actually from the dollar store, and it's extremely strong. The only thing is you have to turn it upside down in order to make it strong, and it's extremely hard to pull off. You just need duct tape um, to pull it off easy. But it's super strong. It's like really, like, uh, it's great. So you get 12 for a dollar, which is really uh, um, a good price. I definitely recommend these four different types of Ziploc. These are the brands I use. I get a lot of questions on the brands I use. So I would definitely recommend these brands. Another thing that's definitely important to have are ducklings. So I have tons of different ducklings, but the most important are solid color ducklings. So if you have like, say this is chrome, so they make chrome in a regular size roll of duct tape, but if you're using chrome for trim, definitely use this over like a whole roll because this is way cheaper and it's smaller, so this is great for trimming. So I would definitely recommend having like different ducklings. They make different patterns and different colors out of ducklings. So I definitely recommend these. You can find them pretty much anywhere that sells duct tape. The last thing um, that I have for this video is definitely business cards. This isn't only at your desk, but um, they're really great to have. You can go on Vistprint or if you have like a Staples, you can go online and order them from Staples. It's the same exact layout, but here's just my business cards. So it says my um, awesome duct tape wallets and then my email, my name, my slogan, and then all my different social medias that I have, my logo. And then the back it has my name, my email, a QR code for my YouTube channel. And these are really great ways, like if you go to craft fairs and someone doesn't want to order right then and there and they want a custom wallet, you can just hand this to them. They have your email, they have your kick, they have your website, and they can go look on it. And it's super simple. That is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up so I know you want to see more of these um, videos because I'm really excited for this series. Even if you don't like it, I'm probably still going to do this series because... I really enjoy it, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I really love you guys, and I will catch you guys later. Stay tuned for my next video in this series, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.